It is your boy Marlon Rice and also known as Plant Based G, plantbasedg.life on your social media platforms, also owner of Community Vegan Food Truck. We are doing an incredible dish, tuna chopstick made with the Good Catch tuna along with some mashed cauliflower, a nice, healthy, southern dish for you and your soul to enjoy. <laughs> All right, let's put this bad boy together. So what we're gonna do first and foremost is we're gonna take four packages of our lovely Good Catch. And for those of you all who did not know, yes, you can actually eat some incredible tuna. And when I say incredible tuna, incredible tuna, and it's all plant-based, baby. All right, so we've got our four packages of the Good Catch tuna. Now we're gonna add the rest of the goods to the situation. So we've got our bread flakes, about a quarter cup. We're gonna add to this bad boy. Then we've got a little bit of lemon zest. Gotta have the lemony flavor whenever you're doing a seafood situation. And we're gonna also add some lemon juice. And if you like me and you like spicy things, again, I'm from Texas, we love everything with a little bit of spice. Got a little bit of hot sauce. We're gonna add off to it. Throw some parsley off in the situation too and it's smelling good, as does everything. Got some of our green onion. Got a little bit of Dijon. I know my French accent is horrible, but you get the point. And we're going to add our binder, which is flax egg. And so for our flax egg, what we did was we went with one part flax, one tablespoon flax, three tablespoons of water. That way it can bind the way it's supposed to. Now we're going to mix this bad boy up we're gonna make some lovely patties with this and throw them off in the fridge for a minute. The reason why you wanna allow it to chill because it gives it an opportunity to set. That way, whenever we're cooking them, they'll be together, they'll stay together, nice and compact-like. That way you can have tuna chopsticks, that is, the way that you are meant to enjoy them. We're in the beautiful outdoors, as you can see around me. We've got trees, we've got wildlife, and we've got flies just to let you know that this is an official situation. All right, let's go ahead and add a little bit of pepper and we're gonna do the same with some salt. And I'm loving the way this smells already. Nothing like the smell of some hot sauce mixed in with some other goods. There we go. Mix this up just a little bit more. As far as our patties go, you can make them whatever size you like. If you like big patties, then make big patties. If you like small patties, make itty bitty patties. It's up to you, baby. I like my patties to be, I guess, medium in size. Right there, I made a good size patty with that bad boy. All right, now we got our patties situated. We're gonna let those chill in the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna start whipping together our mashed cauliflower situation. All right, we got our tuna steaks. We're gonna let them chill for about a good 20 to 30 minutes. That way they can actually bind together that much more. So whenever we're frying our tuna chopped steaks, they'll turn out the way that we want. We've got the beautiful cauliflower broken down. We're gonna boil these bad boys and make some mashed cauli. That's right. We're going to make mashed cauliflower. You're gonna love it, I guarantee you. Let's go ahead and drop our cauli into the hot water. Pull these bad boys off in there. And typically with the cauliflower, it's gonna take you around 10 to 12 minutes, sometimes a little bit longer, sometimes a little bit less, but what we wanna do is make sure it gets to a nice, soft consistency. That way it's just like the mashed potatoes, you know what I mean? So we're gonna let those boil for a little bit, soften up, like I said, 10 to 12 minutes on high, make sure that they're boiling or getting as hot as they can. Then we'll take those out, do a little blend type thing, and put this bad boy together. Alrighty, it looks like our cauliflower is nice and softened up. Like I said, you wanna let the cauliflower boil in extremely hot water for a good 12 to 15 minutes, something like that. So we're gonna remove cauliflower, and then we're gonna allow it to cool for about five minutes before we blend it with the remainder of our ingredients. But yes, you definitely wanna let that cauliflower cook down a little bit. That way the consistency is going to be as similar as possible to one of our favorites, which is the mashed potato. 
Why do I like this more than mashed potatoes? Number one, less carbs, much healthier, but two, my goal is to get in as many healthy vegetables as I possibly can. So for me, one of my cheat codes, I guess you would say, is instead of having the mashed potatoes, I like to go with the mashed coffee. Beautiful mashed coffee. Now it is time to mix the goods together. All righty, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cauliflower pieces, throw those off in the magic bullet. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add our butter to the situation. Get off in that butter. Got our quarter cup of our plant-based milk situation. We've got our thyme here. Gotta have some of that fresh seasoning. Then we've got our garlic. Love garlic in my mashed potatoes and in my mashed cauliflower. Green onion. All right, I think that's plenty. Add a little bit of salt. I love the magic bullet. Number one is because the bullet is so powerful, but you can also use a food processor. You can use a blender. You've got options in terms of what you use to get it to mash together. In fact, for some of you all who are old school, you can get your nice masher and you can mash that bad boy together just like that. But for me, since we're in 2021, I'm gonna take advantage of technology. And technology says, get you a bullet, blend it together really quickly, and you'll look like an expert. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, we're gonna add a little pepper. Not too, too much. We can always add a little bit more to taste a little bit later. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the blend. What we're gonna do is let it get nice and creamy. Right now, it's kinda of so-so. I'm gonna let it blend for about 10, 15 more seconds. Ah, uh, yes. So what we're gonna do in the meantime, it's still a little bit warm, so we're gonna allow this to cool for a few. Then we're gonna grab our grilled tuna chopped steaks. We're gonna throw those on the skillet and cook those up. We're gonna bring it all together and have us one incredible meal. So let's go grab our chopped steaks out the freezer. Here we go. These bad boys have just been chilling. Look at them. They've been chilling for a little bit. Behind the scenes, looking beautiful. Here we go. Now it is time to throw those off in some hot oil avocado oil that is. We're gonna let those cook for a little bit. I'm actually gonna put a lid on them, that way they'll cook all the way through. We will be good to go. So let's go ahead and drop these bad boys off in the skillet. There we go. And I'm telling you it is much, much better if you allow these to chill for a little bit. That way they can stick together. And you're not creating a mess while you're cooking your lovely dish. There we go, three bad boys, and I already smell that tuna, baby. I already smell that tuna. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up for a few. That way it can cook. We'll check on it here in just a second. All right, we're gonna check these bad boys. They're looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this bad boy over here. There we go. I wanted to go vegan for health purposes primarily. As a youngster, I was a big meat-eating kid. And when I say a big meat-eating kid, I was a huge meat-eating kid. Some of you all would find it hard to believe that at one point, I actually weighed close to 400 pounds. That's right, 400 pounds. I got up to 370 pounds of just a little bit of unhealthiness. So for me, just like most people, I watch what the hell, Magically, midway through it, I said, you know what? It is time for me to change what it is that I'm doing. That's exactly what I did. Next thing you know, I'm off in the kitchen, throwing together some incredible good catch meals, eating good, living good, feeling good. Life is so good, so dope. In fact, I would say life is off the hook. In fact, I think that's something that Good Catch says too. So, for those of you all who are still some of my meat-eating friends, trust and believe. You can eat better, you can live better. Life is so much better if you eat more plants. This is smelling incredible, friends. This big boy is ready to be removed. So, go ahead and get this bad boy ready and transfer it to our plate here. Looking good, smelling lovely. Get our lovely mashed collie. So we 
got our mashed collie here. This is going to be tasty AF. I'll let you figure out what the AF stands for, all right? So we're gonna make this look beautiful. Put some more green onion on this bad boy, make it look nice. There we go, got a little green onion. Then we gotta add a little bit more butter to it. You add butter to your mashed potatoes, I add butter to my mashed collie, all right? So we got a little butter, we're gonna drizzle on top of there. Around here, get a little parsley off in the situation. And I'm gonna add just a tad bit of pepper on top of this too. And ladies and gentlemen, we have our tuna chopped steak along with our mashed collie. With a little bit of butter and pepper, parsley and green onion on top. You have yourself one fabuloso meal. And now it's time for me to do my taste testing to ensure that this taste is good as it's supposed to. This is banging. This is banging, baby. That hot sauce is coming through too. See what the mass collie is tasting like. Hey, don't judge me either. I know some of you all do the same thing. You get it with your finger and you eat it. Yum, yum to your tum tum. Yo, when I tell you healthy meal, tasty meal, Easy meal, you gotta try it. Once again, it's your boy, Marlon Rison, also known as Plant Based G, coming live and direct, putting together another dope, and I do mean a dope good catch situation. Now, if you've heard me say it before, I'm gonna say it again. Don't sleep, get you some good catch. It's the only thing to do, baby. Get you some.